First, I just want to say, yes, I know the lighting in this video sucks, the camera quality sucks, it's because I'm using my laptop camera, which, yes, I know, sucks, but, um, that's part of the story I'm about to tell you. So, I worked for six and a half months at McDonald's in my city, and for the most part, it was a great experience. It was my first job ever, which, you know, for me, it was a big deal, of course it's gonna be a big deal. Um, I made, I had good payments, $9 an hour, um, good for my age at least, um, I was cashier, couldn't really cook or anything, that's more of like, have to have to be older to do that, but that's fine, that's completely fine, um, but in my time working there, there were a few things that, um, were red flags to me, um, and keep in mind this was a corporate McDonald's, not like a locally owned one or whatever, corporate McDonald's. Uh, that's also something you need to keep in mind. But there were a lot of secrets that they harbored from their customers especially, stuff that they didn't want them to know. And that's, that's the issue I had, and I called them out several times on it, and today was my last day of work there. I did not quit, I was fired. Um, so, fuck, my microphone just fell. Uh, so after what happened today, I just want to say that I hate McDonald's. I will never, ever eat their food ever again. Fuck McDonald's. Anyway, back to the stuff that was actually happening with me at the McDonald's. So they told me, I'm sure you all know the filet of fish popular food item at McDonald's, you know. Everyone knows the filet of fish I'm sure you've heard about some of the stuff, some of the altercations that McDonald's has had with it. Altercations, that's probably not the right word. Genius right here. <laughs> but, um, filet of fish is a uh, food item, and a lot of people uh, take issue with it, you know, rightfully so, probably, because of uh, some of the accusations against it that McDonald's has put out there. Or people that, what am I, that people have, that people have, instigated against McDonald's about it being like not fresh or something but that's not the issue I had with it basically basically the issue I took with it is that they would um send in these packages and they didn't look like the filet fish I was told it was the filet fish you know I can prepare fries or whatever get them out of the thing I just can't like cook any of the food or I wasn't able to I just normally took orders, did fries, whatever, whatever. But, um, these things did not look like the filet of fish They look like lava. Like lava out of a fucking volcano or whatever. And that's when the manager told me, yeah, it's lava. And I was like, so there's lava in the filet of fish And he was like, yeah, we feed our customers lava. And I was like, why? And they were like, the lava has the salt that addicts the customer. It makes them come back again and again and again. That's not what I took issue with. Why would you feed your customers lava? And I couldn't get a straight answer. I asked him pretty much every day. Um, he just disregarded me as just another employee. Um, so... Now most people will say, well what the hell, why would you, why would you care about McDonald's doing that to you? And what I have to say is, I don't. That wasn't the part that upset me. Um, you know, besides them feeding their customers a deadly substance, whatever. Then they told me about their cheeseburgers, their signature, you know, $1 cheeseburgers, hamburgers, whatever. $1, you get these for $1. Sounds like a great value, you know. Most places don't have them for a dollar. Um... A lot of people will say it doesn't really taste like a burger, at least people that I know think that. A lot of people that work at McDonald's think that. You know, customers think that. It's like a signature McDonald's burger taste. I'm sure you probably know that too. It just doesn't taste like any Ballpark Frank, whatever, burger. It just signature McDonald's. That's because they put cocaine in the burger. And that's why it has the signature taste. And that's also why I'm eating one right now. One day I thought it would be funny to wear my hat like this, backwards, 
And um, not only did my boss threaten to fire me, he docked my pay to $2 an hour, which of course the law got involved in. I was back up to nine. It left open some room for discussion. At what point does McDonald's become a dictatorship? It already is. It's been a dictatorship since it opened and since James Huberty, Huberty, whatever, killed those people in McDonald's. It went from a capitalist society to a communist society and then finally to a dictatorship. What the fuck? I'm just spewing random bullshit at this point. See you at Burger King.